Want to know what it's like to go on a seven-day cruise aboard Virgin Voyage's Valiant Lady? Well, keep watching because you're about to find out. Well, hello. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Jessica of Miss More Style. Today, I am so excited because we are setting sail on the Valiant Lady with Virgin Voyages, and we are leaving out of Barcelona. This is such an epic cruise. I'm so excited. If you're interested to see what sailing on Virgin Voyages is like, I'm gonna share with you guys all the amenities on the trip, all the food, shows, all the fun and take you with us as we embark on this week-long French Days Ibiza Nights itinerary with Virgin Voyages. Make sure to also subscribe and stay tuned because I will have separate vlogs for all the different ports that we stop into. Definitely check the description box because I will have links to those as they go live. We arrived to Barcelona actually two days before embarkation day to kind of hang out and get acclimated to the time zone, but if you're coming in the day of the cruise, the airport is only about a 25 minute taxi ride from the port, which is pretty convenient. I'm just gonna leave my car right here while we're on the cruise. Cool. All right, awesome. First thing we did when we got to the port was drop our bags with the Rockstar crew, and then we got to go and chill for a little bit while we waited for our early embarkation time. I signed up for the earliest possible on the app a month before our trip to make sure we could get on as soon as possible. <laughs> I managed to find this very Instagrammable infinity mirror hallway within 10 minutes of being on the ship. We were ushered into the manor Hello. for our rock star orientation. Your VIP early boarding time allows you to come into the manor and speak to anybody if you need to book any remaining reservations for dinner or entertainment. And you get this wristband that basically helps you access all of the ship, including your room. Whoa, is it singing to us? So we just got into our sea terrace cabin here on the Valiant Lady and it is so awesome. So let me give you a quick little cabin tour. Here. Closet right here, first of all, we have all of our baggage just kind of shoved in there, but plenty of hanging space. You've also got this sort of um, button here for like, do not disturb. Um, not sure what this one is for yet, but I'll, I'm sure we'll find out. Also got this nice little wardrobe area with <clears throat> a full length mirror, which I very much appreciate. Cause you know, a full length mirror, you gotta know what the whole fit looks like. It's got plenty of drawers, hair dryer, a safe, extra towels, your life vests. You've also got some extra little shelves right down there. And then here is the bed. It looks nice and spacious. And apparently it folds up into a couch during the daytime. They do a, a daytime configuration for you. So have this awesome flat screen right here. Ahoy, Nathan and Jessica. Little chair, some desk and a mirror. They have all kinds of plugs. I love that they have US plugs as well as the European one because if you didn't come fully prepared with your adapters and everything, you don't have to worry because they have two US plugs and a USB for you. Also got this iPad, which is basically you can use this to program the whole room, all your lighting. They have all these different settings. Oh my God. Where's my burlesque show? Got water, which they bring to you complimentary every day. Little mini fridge, balcony. And we are on the port side, which is awesome. I love that because I feel like that means you get to see the port every time you come into a port. The one thing that's so awesome about all the Virgin Voyages cabins is they all come with this great red hammock, which apparently if you love it enough, you can purchase it in their gift shop on the ship. I am definitely going to be drinking my coffee from that every morning. Then of course the bathroom. It is a cruise ship, so it's a little small, but it's really modern. And then the shower is awesome. Virgin always has like these awesome rain showers in their properties, which is great. A little body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. And that's the room tour.
Time to do a speed unpack session. See how fast we can unpack our clothes. Go. <laughs> One thing I always like to do on a cruise, as soon as I get my luggage in, into my cabin, I want to unpack everything and get it all situated. This just helps me be able to find everything easily. I feel like I'm at home for the week, and it's just so nice to have everything unpacked and the suitcases out of the way. We need more hangers. I'm gonna order some. We just got into our cabin and got a little bit settled. So now we're gonna go explore the ship and check it all out. So are you guys ready? Let's do this. The elevator is really cool because we're underwater. Under the sea. <laughs> so this will be a fully comprehensive ship tour. There's other videos you can watch on YouTube that will show you that. But this is our little mini exploration of the ship. If you love shopping, Deck 6 has the area known as the High Street. They have all these amazing shops where you can find really great curated fashion for men and women. I was literally dying over these shoes. I wanted them so badly. Um, so if you forgot to pack something fabulous or you just want to treat yourself on vacation, you can definitely get into some real trouble here because they have so many good things. They have a little beauty shop as well. Really anything you could want from fashion beauty or some souvenirs from the ship, they've got it on the high street. This is On the Rocks, which is a classic cocktail mixology bar. They have a great live band here every night that plays blues. Then you'll find the roundabout, this lovely staircase that will take you up to deck seven, this area where they have a lot of lounge areas. There's the ice cream shop over there, the pizza place. There's a vinyl shop on this floor, which we will explore later in this video. Just such a cool design. I really love Virgin's style and aesthetic. There's so many like loungy areas all over deck seven places where you can chill and relax and again just decorated so cool in such a really chic and very stylish way by the way if you're looking for some more in-depth information about going on a virgin voyage cruise make sure to check the description box we'll have a video with all the things that i learned from our first cruise walking towards the aft of the ship on deck seven we wandered into the dog house this restaurant serves up mediterranean style fare it's a great place to get a snack or a light bite to eat a very light and bright airy space with this back outdoor area called the dock, which had a lot of lounge areas, tables and day beds. Honestly, so many different day beds. Seemed like there was just plenty of places to lounge on this ship. Another area we loved on deck seven was the loose cannon area, which featured this diner and kind of a cool, just laid back casual atmosphere with all these different board games. Can't believe they have this game, this is hilarious. Right off to the side is this fun arcade area with all these sort of retro games. And the best part is there's no children on this ship, so you don't have to compete with any to play your favorite games. The Loose Cannon kind of models itself after sort of a divey sort of bar. It's very chill. It's got a very nautical theme. They've got some delicious drinks, and it's just meant to be really casual and easygoing. Skipping up to deck 15, where more of the amenities are, you'll find the fitness area. So on one side, you have the bike and burn cardio side, and the other side of this hot tub area, you'll find the strength training area. You have this big hot tub that you can hang out in, as well as two small ones off to the side, as well as a bar, because of course, you might need a drink right after you pump some iron. It's your vacation, honestly. You make the rules, right? In the very middle of deck 15, you'll find the aquatic club pool and bar. There was a lot of great day beds around the pool and lounge chairs, plenty of lounge chairs really to go around because you've got more up on deck 16. There really was no shortage of places to lounge by the pool. It was just great because I've been on some cruises before where they kind of run out and that always is a bummer. Next, we headed into the galley, which is Virgin Voyages answer to the traditional ship buffet, except there's no buffet here, which is so great because I hate buffets. They just have a bunch of different stations where you can order up different types of food. So they've got ramen, panini sandwiches, tacos, sushi, popsicles, a salad bar, so this diner and dash, which has American diner food. It's open 24 seven. They have this wine dispensary machine, which was pretty cool. So it's great because you can just grab and go and it's all made to order. Oh man, I'm in sushi heaven. Ahoy sailors. Our mandatory sailor assembly drill is now complete. Thank you for ensuring that our lady ship is safe and ready to sail. Now it is time to set sail the virgin way. I definitely get used to having sushi at my fingertips. There goes one. Let's get this show on the road. Sail.
One little fun thing about Virgin Voyages is they do a champagne send-off party when the ship leaves the port. They pass out champagne to everyone on the ship. We are sailing! It's just waves away to nobody. Nobody cares. <laughs> After enjoying a bit of the champagne send-off, we decided to keep exploring the ship and we walked to the aft of Deck 16 where they have more games, more hot tubs, more lounge areas, and this really fun big chess game. All kinds of great stuff on this deck, but my favorite place on this deck is Richard's Rooftop. Okay, so we're gonna go check out Richard's Rooftop. You only get access to this if you're VIP or a rock star. Go get some drinks and kick this morning job. Up on Rich's rooftop, you'll find plenty of day beds and lounge areas, as well as a bar. They have their own menu, and you can order cocktails. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Like you. Thank you. <laughs> well, this is fun. <laughs> They've also got two hot tubs up here. I wish there was like another small pool up here too, but it was a pretty nice area. We did a little exploring of the ship, got our bearings. Now we're just chilling on Richard's rooftop. Last but not least, we had to see Deck 17, which is the runway, which is a running track that goes around the ship. Here on the runway, which is a great little running track if you want to get some laughs in. Of course, I'm using it as a fashion runway because that's how I roll. This is a former all-star sprinter. <laughs> Show us what you got, babe. Now, I know this isn't everyone's priority, but if you're looking for a good picture for the gram, the runway in front of the Virgin sign during golden hour doesn't get much better than that. It also looks really cute at night too. Just a little pro tip out there for you. We got our cardio in for the day. Woo! For our first dinner on board the ship, we were kicking it off strong with Test Kitchen. This is definitely one that you have to try when you go on a Virgin voyage. It's sort of an experimental kitchen slash laboratory where they give you a preset menu of six courses. You can do the regular menu or vegetarian and you really don't know what you're going to be eating until you sit down and they start serving you the courses. They basically present you a list of ingredients and ask you if you're allergic to anything and then they get started. They have an incredible mixologist here. He had a lot of personality. You can sit here and watch him make drinks and you can come in and just have drinks here if you want to be entertained and watch. You also can do a cocktail or wine pairing with your meal. Being winos, we decided to do the wine pairing and it was absolutely amazing. Every course was just so interesting. The combinations of flavors with the wine pairing, we were just in foodie heaven here. Test Kitchen is definitely for the person who's an adventurous foodie. So if you're kind of a picky eater, then this might not be the spot for you. But if you're into trying some new things, wow, this place was incredible. After dinner, we went a short walk to On the Rocks for a little nightcap. They have this awesome blues band that plays almost every single night and they were so much fun. At On the Rocks, you'll find some great twists on classic cocktails. They also have a big whiskey list, which we loved. Definitely make sure to go check out The Wake at night. They light it up, it is so cool. Uh, kind of breakfast is served. Coffee, that's what it is. Our whole coffee setup. Some yogurt and scrambled eggs. We love being able to order our Ship Eats breakfast every morning. I ordered it each night for 2 a.m. So convenient to have that ready to go every morning. Well, good morning. We've been docked in Marseille for quite a bit. We had an announcement this morning as we were eating breakfast that our ability to go ashore was being delayed because there was a strike here in the dock that affects the transportation in and out of the dock. Nothing says welcome to France like a strike, am I right? Finally announced about 30 minutes ago that everything is cleared up, it's safe for us to go ashore. So we are going to pack up our bags for the day and head out and explore Marseille. When you dock in Marseille, there are shuttle buses that the ship provides that will take you into the city center. There's also looks like some tourist buses that show up as well, although we did not opt for that. I'm really glad we caught the shuttle because that would have been a long walk. We had a really fun day in Marseille exploring, so if you're curious to see what we did on our little port day here, definitely check the description box. Like I said, all of my port day videos will be down there so you can check those out for some fun ideas.
made it back to the ship just in time. We're happy hour after two turns off here. Cheers. After a very hot and busy day running around Marseille, we wanted to cool off in the pool. So we went to the one pool that's on the ship. And this is one of my few complaints about Virgin Voyages is they just have this one pool. I wish they had more. For dinner on our second night, we headed into Gun Bay, which is a super fun and lively Korean barbecue spot. Ah! Uh, you can hear the pump. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Like our bread and butter, yes. And Simba will be here to live the game with you. Made uh, of <laughs> potato from South Korea, distilled. At Gunbay, you'll be set at a table with other sailors, and they start your meal off with a Korean drinking game, which they walk you through the rules of. We learned the game at 369, which I was not very good at. Any number, that is with a 3, a 6, and a 9. You don't shout on it, rather you clear for it. 369, 30, 60, 90. If you go too slow trying to do the message, that you meditate, what's up, what's clear for or not, you out. Now give me a Gunbay before we get started. Gunbay, 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 Gunbay. Let's go. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. All of it. 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 They have this grill in the center of the table that your server helps you grill your food on. Some of our favorites were the kalbi, the bibimbap, and we also got the crispy fried chicken. And did I mention it was my birthday today? They made me feel very special. Here goes nothing. Of course, it's not my birthday without drinks and dancing, so we headed to the manor at the nightclub on board the ship for Drinks with the Diva, which is kind of a one queen drag show. It's a lot of comedy and singing, dancing, even some aerial acrobatics, which was a really cool show. After the nightly show in the manor is over, the dance club takes over, and they even have some performers who put on a little bit of sh a show to kick that off as well, which is amazing. All the performers on this cruise were absolutely so talented, and it really got the party going. The next port is Khan, which was my favorite port, spoiler alert. But when you get here, there's not a big port, so you have to sign up for a time to get on one of these ferries to take you ashore, which you can do through the Virgin Voyages app. The great thing about this stop is that it's docked overnight, so you can stay out in Khan as late as you want, which is really cool. We happen to be there during the Khan Film Festival, which honestly was a dream come true. Make sure to check the description box, because again, I have that separate vlog linked down there for you if you want to check out what we got up to and what it's like at the Khan Film Festival. We just got back to the ship a little bit ago um, from our really fun little afternoon in Khan. Day. We just checked out the Khan Film Festival, which is really cool that we got to do that. I'm still pinching myself back to the ship to chill for a little bit. The weather seems like it's turning a little bit south, so I think it's supposed to rain. You know, we were supposed to meet up with some friends for dinner in Khan later, around 10. So we're going to see what the weather does. Definitely didn't bring anything for rain. Maybe we'll see on the ship tonight. Maybe not. I hope not, because I'm going to go back. I really liked Khan. You can see way over there, that big screen. It's where they have an outdoor screening on the beach for the public. The Con Film Festival, they show all the classic movies and stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. It's crazy you can see it all the way from over here. The rain ended up not being so bad, so we went back, checked out the red carpet again, and got to meet up with our friends for dinner and went out for a bit. Again, this will all be on the vlog, but it was just so cool to get to stay out really late. They have tenders that go from the shore to the ship all night long, every 30 minutes.
really enjoy Con. I wish we could have stayed longer. Definitely a place I want to come back to. After going back out in Con for a couple hours that next morning, we decided to get some pizza from the pizza place. I had not tried this place out yet, but it's basically a fast pizza restaurant. They have these great flatbread pizzas. They're fresh and delicious and this awesome little seating area. Had to come take a look at the vinyl shop on deck seven because we're always trying to expand our vinyl collection at home. We kind of took the opportunity of the afternoon to evening sea day after con to sort of wander around the ship and check out some spots we hadn't seen yet. We went to the Sips Lounge, which was very not busy in the afternoon. Little pro tip if you want to go there when it's quiet. This is a little champagne lounge. I love how it's decorated. It's so cute. You can go in and get traditional afternoon tea here, which I believe costs $35 a person with champagne, which is a great deal. We were hungry for something a little bit more substantial, so we went back up to the galley to try out more of the food there. We have wine on tap here. So just tap your wristband. We kind of went a little nuts and got a little bit of everything from the galley on this day for lunch. We got some panini, some avocado toast, some ramen. Mmm, the ramen was so good. Ooh, that's spicy. It's spicy though. Yeah. It's really good. This broth is actually really good. Yeah, I'm like digging the broth. I'm really surprised actually. So am I. What do you think as a, a ramen lover and connoisseur, what do you think about the ramen on this on this ship? The broth is excellent. Yeah, the noodles were like ramen noodles that you get in like in the package, but they're still good. So we just had some lunch in the galley, which was great. The food in the galley is amazing. I think we've tried. And it's kind of fun because you can get like a variety of things. It's not like a traditional buffet because buffets kind of creep me out low key. Just chilling. We've got the rest of the day to be on the ship. We're not going to be in Olvia until tomorrow morning. Just going to chill out and relax, recharge a little bit because I've definitely been running Nate all around south of France for the last three days. We need a little R&R. &R. of this trip while we're sailing to Olvia and Ibiza will be too rough for me, but I think I'll be okay. Another really cool place to get an Instagram picture or just experience in general is the net, which is on the back of the ship on deck 16. Oh are you a little worried that you're, crazy. you are uh, six stories up? Okay, so this is probably the craziest thing on the ship, but I'm on this net. Look at how high this is! <laughs> it's insane! For dinner, we headed into Pink Agave, which is the elevated Mexican restaurant on board the ship. And this place, I actually think, was maybe the least favorite restaurant we ate at. The cocktails were good, the food was good, it just was like nothing that was as amazing as the previous two places we'd eaten, but still solid and really enjoyed the tequila list and their cocktails. For the evening's entertainment, we went to the Red Room to see Dual Reality, which is sort of a Cirque du Soleil style show they have here on board. It's very interactive. They get the audience involved. You're basically either on the red team or the blue team. It was very much like a Romeo and Juliet sort of storyline, but with really crazy acrobatics and all kinds of different acts that they had. These performers are just incredible. My jaw was on the floor most of the show. So make sure you make a reservation to go see this show while you're on a Virgin Voyages cruise because it is so freaking cool.
This is the shortest port day on the cruise, so I suggest when you get to Olbia, you get started early and get going. We rented a scooter to sort of get around because this island is a little bit more remote, so I highly recommend hiring a car or renting some sort of transportation if you want to see more than just the city. Okay, we made it back from Olbia. It was so much fun. I have a video about that whole excursion you can check out if you're interested. We made it back basically just in time to go up to Richard's rooftop for champagne hour. So that's what we're gonna go do. Let's go. So it is the fifth night of our voyage and we are heading to dinner and I'm wearing my red because it is scarlet night tonight which I'm not really sure entirely what that means but I know you have to wear red so stay tuned and I'll uh, take you guys along for that to see what that really entails. <sighs> Wait a second there money penning. <laughs> is there red all over the hallways? <laughs> You jump, I jump back! Another very Instagrammable spot is the stern of the ship right in front of the wake. Also, make sure to pack yourself something red that you wouldn't mind jumping into a pool with. Don't worry, we'll get to that in a second. Stay tuned. Dinner tonight was at The Wake, which is the classic sort of elegant upscale steakhouse restaurant on board the ship. This is probably the most traditional sort of cruise type of restaurant that they have on Virgin Voyages. They have some amazing food. I loved the bone marrow. It was absolutely incredible. We ordered a lot of really delicious appetizers. The hamachi was also good. I got the petit filet and it was cooked to perfection. Definitely not one of the more interesting restaurants on board the ship, but solid and really good. After dinner, we went back to Test Kitchen to have some of the wines from our first dinner that we loved so much. And we ended up playing this game with the sommelier with his aroma smelling kit. And guys, I have a terrible nose. Is a flower? No. Watermelon. Is it watermelon? Oh, you got it. This isn't tobacco, is it? I'm off. I'm way off. Okay. It smells like cigarettes. I don't have a very good nose. Wood? Like something wood? That was In my best either. I thought it was like something wood. It was woody. I have a terrible. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? Scarlet Night really seemed to kick off when we left Test Kitchen. The whole ship was like transformed. They say Scarlet Night is different for every sailor and it's just such a unique night and experience on the ship. So just be adventurous and go with the flow and just enjoy the night and see where it takes you. Make sure that you end up at the pool because that's where the party really gets going. Oh my god. I jumped in the pool in my dress on Scarlet Night. I mean, listen, if you're on a virgin cruise, do yourself a favor, live a little, jump in the pool on Scarlet Night. You can't really jump in the pool fully clothed with a bunch of other people too many other times in your life, so I encourage you to please try it. It's, it's an experience and you will not regret it. Now I look like a drowned rat, so I'm gonna have to find something else to wear for the rest of the evening because we are not done. It is a rough one today. It's not too bad. Still haven't needed to use my sea bath yet. We had so much fun last night at Scarlet Night. We even got invited to go to this secret little party that they don't let you take photos of or videos of, but it's just something that they kind of pull you into if they like your vibe or I don't freaking know, but it was cool. So if you're on a virgin voyage, maybe you'll get lucky enough to get to experience that. Now we're gonna get some brunch. Just gonna do a little um, R&R &R before we get into Ibiza, which is later on tonight. Have a chill day, because I have a feeling tonight might be a little for our one brunch on board the ship, we went to Razzle Dazzle, which is a veggie focused restaurant, but they do also have some meat dishes. I really loved the decor here. It was really cool and funky. This is one of two places on the ship you can get brunch. You can also go to the wake, but I wanted to try out Razzle Dazzle because I feel like their menu was really interesting. I decided to try their acai bowl, which was incredible, but I also had to try the coconut milk fairy toast. This is like a brioche toast that has rainbow sprinkles all over it. 
it kind of tastes like a cross between French toast and a donut. Yeah. So good. They also had the red bar in the back, which we never got to hang out at, but they had some really interesting cocktails on their list. So after brunch, we headed down to the spa, relaxing a thermal treatment. This cost $39 a person, totally worth it. All right, we've got our mud. Ready for a spa day. The thermal treatment gives you access to the spa's facilities. They have heated beds, a warm pool, these splash cold pools, and the sauna. Yeah. It's really hot in here. I'm gonna stick it out. This is good for me, this is good for me, this is good for me. <laughs> yes, indeed, get out all those scarlet night toxins. They also have this very steamy mud room where you can go in and apply the mud that they give you to sort of give your skin a nice treatment. The Himalayan sea salt room, so relaxing the spa. After the pool and the spa, my hair needs major help, so I'm gonna pop in a dry dog and let the ladies give me a fresh, awesome blowout for tonight because I do need some help, let's go. Dry dog is a full service hair salon here on Virgin Voyages. You can get your hair cut, collared, but I just needed a blowout. Also, if you're a gent, they have a barber shop right next door, FYI. Just wanted to do a nice wash and blow dry. I told him I wanted a sort of wavy blowout and he really achieved exactly what I wanted. Love it, thank you so much. That looks great. And I didn't have to do it myself today, so that's the best thing. <laughs> ah, so much better. After that blowout, I popped over to the ice cream shop because I figured I deserved a little treat. I went with a scoop of key lime and strawberry cheesecake. It was such a good combo. At around 6.30, we sailed into Ibiza and docked. We got off right at seven so we could enjoy a night out. We went to a nightclub, which was super fun. And then the next morning we woke up to explore more of Ibiza during the daytime. It was so cool that we were docked here overnight so that we could fully take advantage of the nightlife in Ibiza since that is what they are truly known for. I guess we're leaving. One thing I have been absolutely terrible about on this cruise is taking advantage of all the fitness amenities that they have. They have meditation, they have yoga classes, they have hit classes. I almost took one of those the other morning, but that was the day the ship was like really rocky, so I didn't really want to get too crazy. They have a class that I was super bummed I didn't get to take um, because it sort of messed with the time that we were in port. It was like an 80s Jane Fonda, like old school aerobics class, which sounded really, really fun. They do like dance classes, and if you're really into health and fitness, Virgin Voyages has so many options to really just help you have a really fun, nice time and keep up on your fitness goals while you're here. If that is Back on the balcony, we left Ibiza a little while ago. Of course, we made it to Richard's rooftop for our last happy hour with our friends and now it is our last night on the ship so we're headed to extra virgin which is the italian restaurant here on board we're gonna go get our last dinner here we're basically all packed up and ready to go so we have a really early morning departure we kind of get on a flight to paris at about 9 40. we have to hustle it right off the ship in the morning just trying to enjoy our last evening here and so take you guys along it has gone by way too fast like i literally cannot stress this enough enjoy every second because it really 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 flies by it feels like we just got on the ship yesterday so. make sure when you come to extra virgin you're ready to eat all the carbs because their handmade pasta is so worth it we ordered just a ton of their appetizers because they honestly all looked good and then we got a couple pastas to share as well as some entrees we really did it up and this place was so delicious we finally stepped over to the casino to do a little gambling on our last night it was so much fun everyone was having a great time a lot of people got lucky and then of course had to t pay one more visit to the manor for a little bit more dancing and in my captain's outfit obviously it was truly such a fun night to cap off such an incredible week well good morning we are back in barcelona at the barcelona airport just in uh, one of the lounges here which if you have priority pass they have quite a few in this airport fyi we had such an amazing time on our virgin voyages cruise if you guys enjoyed following along with us Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever been on a Virgin Voyage before and which one you have been on. I would love to hear about it. Subscribe if you're not already and make sure to check the description box because I'll have the videos linked for all of our different little port days down below. Next up, we are headed to Paris. So stay tuned for all the fun we get up to there. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.